my channel and if this is your first time hello hi and welcome don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell button to be notified when I put out new content each and every week so anyway yeah I know I look like a grandmother right now and I think I look cute but yeah y'all probably like laughing at me but it's cool it's whatever I feel pretty chic and trendy I feel like a you know a designer you know, I like make clothes and stuff, you know. So maybe this background was on purpose, who knows. But anyway, for this video, y'all, I am collaborating with blackhairspray.com and I am bringing to you all a tutorial on how to transform a wig from something like this into something completely different. So the wig that I'm featuring today is by Motown Trust. This is the wig called Brita which is a super cute kind of like old school Diana Ross and the Supreme looking wig with a little bit of an edge to it which I think is really cute in this color especially the color I'm wearing is gray violet and it's out of this world but yeah so we're about to transform this wig right quick and then I'm gonna get into a little bit of a review we're gonna be using scissors we're gonna be using clippers we're gonna be using prayers I don't know y'all we might need some God in this in this here tutorial so pray for me y'all and uh, let's get right into it shall Okay, so to start off, you're going to want to section the hair off, just separating the top half from the bottom. And the top half is what we're going to be um, razoring. So I'm just taking the back of my clippers, and I'm not using any kind of guard. I'm just using the regular old blade, and I'm just razoring through the top portion of the wig. And I'm trying to start from the bangs and just go all the way, make my way around the wig and make it as kind of even as possible but you know just try your best and now I just pop the wig on top of my head and I'm using a 1 8 of an inch guard just to kind of smooth the ends a little bit and make it a little bit lower um, and closer to the scalp and now I'm just taking some scissors and I'm feathering out the edges so it's less blunt um, and so we have more of like a wispy feel rather than a very bowl cut very uh, sharp and straight bowl cut now this last portion you could just ignore, uh, well I'm just kind of cleaning up the edges right here, but this last part where you see me doing this, the straightening, yeah that didn't work. So that's basically it, just ignore that part. <laughs> so we are back and this is the final result. So y'all we went from this to this and I don't know how y'all feel but I'm loving this so much right now and I still think this style is pretty cute and whatnot but you know I don't know when I would wear it out honestly I probably would just you know play with it around the house but this is something I would definitely wear out um, especially with my little Harry Potter glasses I just feel so cute and just like you know quirky I don't know it's cute the color is great so jumping right into the review this is again the Brita wig by Motown Tress and it's in the color gray violet um, just off the bat it comes in so many different colors you got your regular natural colors 1 1 b 2 and 4 and then you got 613 you also got f 1 b 30 which is i'm guessing like an ombre or like a mixture it comes in teal and white pink and lilac gray violet purple wine so definitely if i can get you know more of this like cut I will definitely be getting more of this style so that I can do a little snip, snip, a little magic. So it does include the hair care and washing instructions as well as um, just special instructions on how to curl it. So construction wise the wig does not come with combs which I found to be kind of a con because um, it is something that I feel like it's not necessarily too loose on my head but it would be nice to just have the extra sense of security with the combs you know just in case I'll be you know getting into a fight with the wind uh, it would be nice to have the the combs but it does have the adjustable straps which is good and it does feel pretty secure so it is kind of like you know a tight wig um, so that you can adjust it to your head size curly and styling wise um, really easy to style and cut um, my razor and my clippers just went through it like butter it was definitely very soft and it maintained it it's kind of bouncy like style wise like the softness throughout the entire process and I was doing a lot to it including adding heat now the heat part it does say it is curling iron safe up to 400 degrees I don't necessarily feel like it's really curlable and I felt like it didn't really do anything and my straightener is like hella hot so I would assume that you know it would curl since it says curlable but for some reason I didn't quite get that you know effect that I was going for I was kind of going for like little swoopy swoops to 
to kind of curl it and then just you know part it and swoop it to the side but for some reason it just wouldn't hold the curl it looked more so like when I flat ironed it a little bit and like tried to curl it, it kind of came out a little dead so I'm not really too happy about that so hopefully you know nobody looks that close at my head um, so I don't think the curlable part I don't really feel like the curlable part is too true but I'm gonna definitely try it again to see if maybe it's just it needs like a curly wand or like an actual like curler or whatever shedding and tangling um, it did not shed on me honestly when I cut it obviously it was gonna shed because I cut it um, but I tried and tested it out before I did all of that and it did not shed whatsoever it's a very short wig so it really doesn't have room for too much shedding um, since it doesn't have a lot of hair tangling obviously there is no <laughs> tangling because it's a very short wig and you know you can easily run your fingers through it so the wig retails for $19.95 on blackhairspray.com I do think it is a cute wig but it may not be something for everybody but I just want to show you all kind of how you can sort of transform a wig that might not look too cute at first, but you can make it a little cute with a little snip in, you know, a little cut here and there. So I hope you found this tutorial and review helpful. This was a super quick review and a super quick tutorial, um, but I hope that it was somewhat helpful and somewhat interesting because, you know, I try my best to be interesting, though I live a very, very boring and sad life. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching. Um, definitely check out blackhairspray.com for more of their wigs. I will link everything down below. So go on and check that out. So let me know what you think. Leave some comments down below or just say hi. And also real quick, y'all, we almost to 5,000 and I have no idea where that came from so I'm literally trying to hold back emotions as I'm doing this video but I just want to take the time to thank you all so much for supporting and sharing and liking and commenting you all have no idea how much this means and I try my best not to be emotional because I'm a very emotional person I just have a lot of feelings yeah I will be doing a giveaway I'm um, actually two giveaways so definitely look out for those videos and as always I love you all thank you so much for watching definitely hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye!